There you go. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about, I guess, my current, um, my current phone network. So every year in December, I usually go to my, uh, well, my Optus dealership in my shopping center and look around by by just going in there and just ask is this the best um, the best plan that I have um, you'd be surprised by just, just walking in um, and just asking that, that particular question um, sometimes you could actually just knock off a couple of dollars here and there on your phone bill because the new plan or so so this year this year is probably a sort of such a bummer um, went to the store um, and yeah they didn't actually give me any discount which is such a shame so I feel like a bit cut because every year in the past I guess, what is that, four years or something every time I go in there my phone bill went from like a hundred and something dollars now going down and down and down and now I'm paying $85 per month um, now with $85 per month I, uh, this was last year I was getting about 60 gig of data between three phones um, sharing data plan between my wife uh, myself as well as uh, my business uh, phone number so yeah I was such, such a bummer however if I didn't do that I wouldn't know which one is the best one I did actually look around um, on their website trying to figure out which one is the best but all of the new plan these days is actually a lot more expensive than what I have um, or if not um, like give you an example but I think it's like now it's, you can pay $40 per month but you get like lo lo lower data um, compared to what I had uh, my my current plan. So luckily, on the other hand, you don't have to roll over to the new to the new plan that they actually provided. So luckily for that. However, at the same time, um, um, because it was only a, a twelve months contract, um, they say, or, or if not, because I, I I don't logged into any contract at all to them. Um, I'm actually now able to go around and search for a better um, a data, uh, a better plan, let's say. Because to be honest with you, like uh, um, based on a 60 gig of a data, we don't use that much. So I be like, I love the idea of that that 60 gig just in case because sometimes I actually upload this video um, using my phone data instead of going at home using the Wi-Fi. Um, that helps a lot as well so it's more like I don't want to pay more I want to pay less so I want the same data usage however a bit lower um, obviously bill um, you know they gave us also about 300 minutes international phone call and I noticed that I don't really use the international phone call any anymore because all of our relatives that is internationally we use WhatsApp, we use Skype, um, we use FaceTime, and so the physical calling on a phone, it's actually obsolete. Um, I remember when I, when I was here in Australia, when I was young, when, when we have to call overseas, we have to use a calling card just to have a, a five, uh, maybe about an hour conversation, so um, for whatever it was um, and when we that calling card is actually ended then we're running out of credit um, so I remember doing those and now these days you, you can talk and talk and talk for hours and hours um, you're just using with my phone data in a sense and I'm still thinking of is it really worth it having an internet at home it might be is because I've actually um, have a growing children. They probably do want to watch stuff that um, somewhat relevant to to their age bracket. Um, but because we minimize their their I guess internet usage or their the 
the screen time so I don't know if it's worth I guess killing it disconnecting it or not so that's kind of interesting like um but yeah, I do recommend on, on the other hand if you do have a phone plan let's say um, go to your provider um, now my, with me is this right my, my phone is that I don't I don't buy them on a plan I buy them outright um, my thought process is this a phone is a depreciating asset it's gonna get broken uh, sooner or later so um, I don't want to lock in into a contract with them because what if the uh, like, let's say tomorrow um, I decided to to change my phone let's say and it might be a bit costly in order for you to break that contract so to be honest with you I bought my friends all of them it's actually second hand um, I don't buy them brand new because I don't see the need um, when I looked at a good a good product is if I can get them second hand and if I can buy the highest spec of the phone for example um, the, the iPhone 10 or iPhone 11 X plus whatever um, the highest spec but at the same time um, the at the lowest spec price um, I think it was like two and a half thousand dollars for the, the highest spec on iPhone 11 and if you can get the low um, with the lowest spec prices or if not lower sometimes you get a good deal um, getting them on like a, on Gumtree or Facebook marketplace because um, sometimes they throw in a case sometimes they throw in extra stuff um, compared to if you're buying them at a retail shop yes the idea of buying a brand new is great um, the, the feeling of that brand new opening up that, that sealed case is great but you get over it after a while because you're probably never going to use the box ever again I know I don't so I don't know who does I mean probably if you're going to put it in somewhere in the drawer and then yeah you get over it after a while anyway so yeah uh, that's the reason why I don't lock it into a contract because I probably you know uh, if this phone is broken or if this phone um, got lost and no biggie because I didn't buy, I didn't pay at the premium price when you buy them in the retail. And the other thing would be, I've waited for about a year or so um, before I'll, I've actually upgraded to my phone. Um, so at the current stage, this phone's actually um, the iPhone 8 that I got recording on. And I don't see the need of me upgrading to an iPhone 11 until such time when I can see probably there's a lot of glitches um, if it's not glitches it would be probably because it's getting pretty slow um, when that happened then I might consider uh, I might consider upgrading so this is on this phone there's also I also have um, another phone an iPhone 10 um, purely because I'm running a business as well so I need to have two numbers so again, like I, I can't see myself um, upgrading to the nearest uh, to, to the newest iPhone 11 because I've got 8 and 10, and they're both working fine. Um, the idea of getting a new a new product, um, brand new product, then it's great. But if you don't need to upgrade, you don't need an upgrade. Um, don't upgrade just because it's the best. It's the newest thing. Um, only upgrade because there's a lot of flaws on your current phone so yeah I, I haven't used an Android for a long time as well uh, well actually no my mistake I went from Nokia and, and then to an iPhone um, so I don't know what what it feels like I got a bit lost using an Android actually um, as a matter of fact but yeah because of that I, I sort of stick to my to the iPhones I started with iPhone 4 and then iPhone 6 and then now iPhone 10 so there's a lot of generation that I skipped um, purely because I don't see the need of me um, upgrading every year um, because unless you're getting them from work or other unless the company is actually going to pay you to, yeah, 
to, to upgrade your phones. Anyway, that's just my things about phone and phone networks. So always check um, what your current provider is. If you can, don't go, don't go, um, don't go on a plan because um, in a plan you sort of stuck with them for two years, and then sometimes when they're upgraded, um, it turned out to be that you don't actually have the best deal, the best phone, the best plan when that happened. See you guys on the next video. Cheers. Bye.